Welcome to a new video and in this video I'm sitting at home instead of running around outside because it's winter time here it's getting very quickly very dark outside and yeah there was no chance to go out because it was too cold nevertheless I have two of the best smartphone cameras available on the market currently the Huawei P50 Pro against the Xperia Pro i so we will uh, do a comparison, camera comparison and uh, compare photos and videos with each other to see which one has the better camera system. So let's get started. So here we go with the P50 Pro on the left and the Xperia Pro I on the right. We have a quadruple lens setup here consisting of a 50 megapixel 1 over 1.5 inch sized sensor, roughly 25 or 26 millimeter field of view, 13 megapixel 13 millimeter ultra wide angle camera for very crisp ultra wide angle shots, so very wide field of view for 13 millimeters. We have the comeback of the monochrome sensor with a 40 megapixel monochrome sensor that is very large and helps all the other cameras and sensors to gather more detail. And then we have a 64 megapixel three and a half times zoom periscope camera, which is also very capable of taking 10 times zoom shots that look like 10 times optical zoom because it's using not only the 64 megapixels, but also the monochrome and the other camera sensors information to gather more details and put them together. On the Xperia Pro i, we have the main attraction, the 1.0 type inch sensor. Why is it called 1.0 type inch size sensor? Because it is a one inch sensor, but not the whole surface area of the sensor is in use. So we're only using here one over 1.3 inch size than what the lens can really cover. So roughly the same as on the Pixel 6 series. Then we have a 16 millimeter ultra wide angle and we have a 50 millimeter telezoom. All of those camera sensors have 12 megapixels and I think the 50 millimeter one might be the weakest here because it doesn't offer a lot of zoom. So the zoom capabilities on the Pro i are a bit limited, but therefore you get a wonderful, very large sensor main camera which is 24 millimeters so a little bit wider than the 25 millimeters on the pro uh, p50 pro so here are the specs you can see them again and uh, we will start off with some videos and then photos I managed to find a spot or a place in time where it's not raining or pouring or it's too dark to do any recording. And uh, now something special because completely cordless and no, I don't have a microphone on me. I'm using the mono mic on the back of the Xperia Pro i and the P50 Pro also has a mono mic. So it might be very interesting to compare the sound quality with all the noises going on. It's not windy here right now. It's quite um, yeah, chilly a little bit. So like around seven, eight degrees. So it's not too cold as well. So this is uh, what you can expect, expect in terms of quality, 1080p, 60 frames per second. It can go up to 4K, 120 frames per second. But yeah, this is like a pain to edit and also a pain for my hard drives or my disks, my SSDs to store. This was a bit of a bump. Let's see how the OIS plus EIS handled that on the Xperia. Pro i. So this is Xperia Pro i's footage with the main camera. Sadly, you cannot switch cameras in this recording mode. Even though the ultra wide angle can also record 1080p 60 frames per second, you cannot switch to it. And I'm using the Video Pro app, which is like the default video editing app for creating such videos, and it is meant for vlogging. So I thought it might be a good idea to use this right now. So what do you think about the stabilization colors, sound? and uh, a little bit of dynamic range maybe i don't see anything blue in the sky actually so it's like very white so not much you can tell about dynamic range i think and, and now the p50 pro's main camera 1080p 60 frames per seconds it can go up to 4k 
and 60 frames per second. It has also slow motion and I think very high slow motion, around 2000 or 4000, I don't know. Um, but you cannot record in 120 frames per second at 4K, which the Pro Eye has as option. This is the stabilization. This is the microphone that is also on the back. There's a microphone for better sound picking up for vlogging, so I'm not using any mic attached to it. I think it is my, might be very interesting for some people to know if you can vlog with this even next to a semi-busy street. And I think my voice is clear, loud and clear. It has some noise filtering going on there automatically and you don't have the option to turn it off. On the Xperia you have a wind filter that you can turn off here. It is like all automatic and yeah, it's a bit windy right now. The so wind is coming from the front. I'm not sure if it's picking up any wind noises. Uh, this is the uh, main camera and uh, this is uh, yeah the stabilization and uh, these are the colors and what you can expect of the main camera. And sadly, this main camera can um, not switch to the ultra wide angle. You cannot switch to the ultra wide angle for 60 frames per second because 60 frames per second are totally locked out for the ultra wide angle. You can only record 4K 30 maximum on this ultra wide angle, which we want to try out right now. Now the ultra wide angle, 13 millimeters, a little bit cropped probably for better stabilization, but it is ultra wide and it's a bit wider than on the Xperia. And yeah, this sensor is working fine at 1080p 30 or 4K 30. And what you can do is the cool thing, I can now switch throughout the lenses during recording. So I demonstrate this to you. So I'm at the ultra wide angle and now I can go to one time and it switches and you clearly can see it or I can go directly to the wide angle again, which is working fine as well. Let's see how the ultra wide angle on the Xperia Pro I can do. And now the ultra wide angle 16 millimeter, not so wide as on the P50 Pro and uh, I cannot switch lenses. So how about stabilization? How about sound? I'm getting to a busy street right now. So sound quality might degrade a little bit, but this is the 16 millimeter that you can expect from the Xperia Pro I. And I think it is a good vlogging distance if you want to have like a normal vlog and your arm not fully stretched out. This might work pretty nicely. And yeah, uh, what do you think about colors, stabilization, the sound quality, and uh, a little bit of dynamic range if you can see it. Uh, write it down in the comment section. Let's compare the photos. The P50 Pro always on the left and the Xperia Pro I always on the right. What you can see immediately is we have a brighter exposure on the P50 Pro and a bit of darker exposure on the Xperia Pro I. The greens are a little bit more yellowish punchy on the P50 Pro and a bit more yeah, darker green on the Xperia Pro I. When we take a look at the details, we can see, oh, there's quite a lot of detail, but it's getting unsharp pretty quickly on the edges here. This has something to do with the large sensor of the Spear Pro I. On the P50 Pro, we have it sharp, 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 sharp. So <laughs> there's almost no unsharpness here a little bit. It's getting unsharp, but you can see the stem here of the celery is pretty sharp. On the Xperia Pro I, we can see a little bit more noise going on already, but it's just very, very subtle and it could be that the noise reduction on the P50 Pro is simply better. What we can do to achieve a more of a sharper look on the Xperia Pro I is definitely switching to the F4 aperture. And there you can see everything is a little bit sharper. Also the background is sharper, so you don't get the nice background blur of the P50 Pro, but you have the celery sharp. So as you can see here, more is in focus, more is sharp, and it is, well, it is almost as equal as on the P50 Pro. But you get a little bit more noise introduction there that of course in manual mode you can compensate by just lowering the shutter speed a little bit to get roughly to the same, um, same ISO as on the P50 Pro. But then you can introduce a little bit of more shake that will make everything a little bit unsharp. But you can see here, I think it's very comparable and in terms of sharpness, there's not much of a difference. There is a difference in terms of punchiness of the colors. Here the Xperia Pro I has the more realistic colors and the P50 Pro has a brighter and more punchy kind of colors. Slight only, slightly punchy. Let's take a look at the next photo. As I said, nothing much uh, 
was going on outside it was too rainy to do anything so i was photographing some inside stuff here we can see also not much of a difference there's a bit of more cooled down and a bit of more um, yellowish kind of look on the p50 pro a bit more warm and a bit more cool on the xperia pro i when it comes to sharpness I think here even the Xperia Pro i has a slight edge and this is with the main camera because what we can see here it looks sharper on the P50 Pro but you can see also more artifacts on the P50 Pro and over sharpening going on you can see it especially in the background here the wallpaper that is clearly over sharpened and you can also see it here that is clearly over sharpened. The Xperia Pro i also has some sharpening and some artifacts here in this calendar but it is, has not this over sharpening. You can see here the wall is softer, a lot softer, and this is how it is really looking like. So it is more realistic on the Xperia Pro I. When I take a look at the sides here, you can see also there's a slight different uh, kind of um, yeah picture that I took here. So it's a little bit uh, higher up on the P50 Pro, a bit lower down on the Xperia Pro I. But in general, you can see there's also sharpening going on here on those kind of uh, packagings here. And uh, you can clearly see that. So which one do you like better? I have to say, I think they're very, very comparable. There's not much of a difference. Even if I go to the edges here, I have very similar photos and very similar sharpness as this over sharpening going on that has a bit of artifacts and depending on how what you like more i think the xperia pro i has a slight edge here because it's more natural looking then the ultra wide angle and hands down we can directly see 13 uh, millimeter on the p50 pro is definitely wider than the 16 millimeter on the xperia pro i when it comes to the quality of the shots itself let's take a look at the calendar here again for example we can see again we have the same kind of a little bit over sharpening going on a little bit more punchy colors take a look at the little logo here which has a darker blue and here a bit of lighter blue so the p50 pro is definitely punching the colors a little bit more than the xperia pro i is doing that uh, which look you prefer i know that in terms of sharpness and in terms of uh, colors i think they're very very close by also the white balance is again the same a little bit cooled down on the pro i and a bit warmer on the p50 pro and in general also the books here the bookshelves and uh, the rest to the edge is uh, very interesting because here you can see that uh, it is the, the whiteness difference here we have the, the the window already and here we have already a little bit of like distortion going on the xperia pro i because it's uh, yeah, the edge already so this is why you can see that the uh, packaging here of the p50 pro is a little bit distorted and it's straightened up on the p50 pro but if it would be totally at the edge here it would have like the same effect so this is nothing much uh, of a difference both have very good ultra wide angle shooters then i really managed to go outside to take some shots and have yeah the best compilation here as you can see my uh, favorite pizza capones uh, pizza capones and pasta and you can see in terms of sharpness in terms of details there is not much of a difference what we can see here if i zoom out again is that for some reason the p50 pro thought the sky always have to have some blue in it so it's putting some blue in here it's a bit more bluish and a bit more yellowish on the xperia pro i so they changed places where the pro i has now the bit more uh, yeah, warmer look and the p50 pro a bit more colder look i have to say both are not realistic uh 100 percent they're very very close to the realistic weather because i think the color of the sky the pro i nailed a bit more but the color of the pavement and the color of uh, the street the p50 pro nailed a little bit better than the pro i which made it a little bit too warm so a combination of both would be perfect so for some reason the p50 pro with its ai activated thinks that the sky has to have always some blue and is not yeah, as yellowish and white as on the pro i but pro i is closer by when we zoom in you can see in terms of detail level and so on not much of a difference there's like slightly bit more details maybe sometimes on the p50 pro and in certain other regions when we take a look at here this line over the pasta 
I can see there's a little bit of clipping, a little bit of, of aliasing going on on the P50 Pro that we don't have on the Pro I. So this is um, also here, I think, can you see it? A little bit of aliasing going on that you don't see on the Pro I, where the Pro I has like clearly a little bit better of, um, uh, yeah, color filter array maybe or a lens. I'm not sure and a bit more detail you can see here for example you can see some lines some lines in the window uh, shade uh, the window shader how is it called this window cover uh, and we don't see that here on the pro eye anymore and uh, yeah so this is that otherwise it's like very very close there's not much of a difference and clarity difference i also don't see much of a difference you can see that the p50 pro is a bit more zoomed in and the pro i is a little bit zoomed out because pro i has like 24 millimeters and the p50 pro i think 25 around 25 ish millimeters so there's a little bit of a difference in terms of uh, perspective here so it's a bit closer on the p50 pro than on the xperia pro i but not much of a difference ultra wide angle again here on first glance you might see oh when you zoomed out the p50 pro yeah looks a little bit more clearer looks a bit more details there it has definitely more hdr look and it's again even in ultra wide angle putting this blue into the sky which no it wasn't there so here definitely the pro i in the ultra wide angle shines it is more a bit more yellowish again on the ground which i yeah it's not so ideal here's the p50 pro the p50 pro is a bit more realistic so a bit less yellow on the xperia pro i would be better here but the sky they really nailed it because this is how the sky looked like look let's look at the details here you can see again a bit more bluish on the p50 pro a bit more yellowish on the pro i the pro i with the more realistic colors in terms of sharpness and details and clarity not much of a difference let's take a look at the church here and at the details here in the stones um, bear in mind this is the ultra wide angle so 13 against 16 millimeters which is like um, i get a wider field of view definitely on the p50 pro but in terms of detail and de detail level there is a bit more it's a bit brighter on the p50 pro so you think that you might see a little bit more in terms of detail here maybe because it's like uh, yeah a bit of um, provoking a little bit more of, of, of uh, contrast in terms of uh, darker and brighter areas because it's brightening up the, the shadows a little bit more but uh, in terms of sharpness in terms of details here also gets a little bit mushy on the on the on the grass already and i think it is doing a little bit more contrast punching into the p50 pro a bit more punch uh, and the xperia pro i has a bit of tent of more realis realistic colors and not not punching too much there in terms of details really not much of a difference you can see this here is sharp this little bush or the rest of the bush here it is getting soft already so the focus point is a little bit different both have like uh, auto focusing on this lens as well there's really you have to really go to the edges here and if you go to the edges you can see there's maybe there's a bit of more processing going on in the p50 pro to come to a level that is equally as good as uh, the pro i here so yeah in general i would say no there's not much of a difference in the ultra wide angle they are almost the same there's a bit of more processing going on on the p50 pro you can see it also here in this shot uh, with the main camera that we have a bit more yellowish look again and a bit more cool down look on the p50 pro in terms of details sharpness noise not much of a difference it's almost the same almost identical a bit more warmer on the xperia pro i because of the sky a bit more warmer and so on uh, details in general when we take a look here clarity also it's on the same level there's not much of a difference it is very impressive first of all that for for once the xperia pro i can keep up with the p50 pro in terms of clarity with the main sensor but then on the other hand it's more impressive that the p50 pro with a smaller sensor can also reach this clarity of a one inch type sensor on the xperia pro i so using the computational stuff to be on par with the pro i 
but we can see clearly when I do pixel peeping that uh, the P50 Pro looks a little bit artificial here and there and the Pro I looks more like a normal camera picture would look like so if you know camera pictures you know how this will look like you can see this a bit over sharpening going on on the grass for example and the colors are a bit uh, brighter and a bit more punchy I would say on the P50 Pro and uh, yeah the more realistic colors really the pro i did here though it is looking maybe a little bit too dark here and there uh, and the p50 pro a bit too bright and a bit too bluish um, so the yeah the realistic colors are probably somewhere in the middle then interestingly enough I, what i wanted to do here actually was doing a photo comparison between the same uh, photo lengths but i for some reason took the photo with the p50 pro's main lens and the xperia pro i's uh, ultra wide angle uh, through a window here of a shop that is selling stamps and interesting enough if you zoom in you can see that for some reason the xperia pro i has a bit more sharpness here a bit more clarity as well even though it is a bit further away so not not sure what was going on with the p50 pro here and uh, also here at the bottom you can see even if i zoom in a little bit more to get them at the same level approximately you can see that there's a bit more sharpness going on a bit more clarity on the pro eye uh, back to the house and let's take a look at another photo here close focusing distance to see how they are performing also with uh, dynamic range i think very similar there's a little bit again here the blue in the sky in the background a bit more white in uh, on the xperia pro i it's a bit brighter on the pre 50 pro so it managed to do it a bit brighter when we pixel peep here and take a look at the details here we can see yeah a little bit more of brightness and I think I see a little bit more like of uh, those contours like it's like drawn a little bit more that means like there's some processing going on on the p50 pro and it looks a little bit more yeah uneven on the Xperia pro i where it has like more realistic camera like feeling where the p50 pro looks a little bit processed like smartphones would do it usually so it's very close in, in general it depends on the look that you want to achieve if you like more of a camera kind of look or more of a processed kind of look or where you can see process uh, in the look otherwise both perform very very good i would say that the p50 pro when it comes to the uh, lighting and when it comes to uh, yeah the the brightness of the object or subject that you want to f uh, photograph has the edge here of the xperia pro i where uh, you have to do it manually you have to go into uh, spot metering or something like this on the Xperia Pro i to achieve a similar thing and uh, yeah but in terms of sharpness in terms of quality what you can see here uh, maybe a slight edge on the p50 pro you can see here because of it's brightening up a little bit more you can see more details on this here and it's a bit of software here on the xperia pro i but this has something to do also with the f2 so if the sharpness was somewhere around here then down here just because uh, not any f2 but also because the sensor is larger then the sharpness is like not there if i would have done it with f4 then i would have probably gotten the same result on the p50 pro now zoom test uh, here we can see the differences in zoom lens we have a three and a half times optical zoom on the p50 pro and we have a two times 50 millimeter zoom on the xperia pro i and here you can see the difference also again in terms of brightness so a lot darker exposure on the pro i and about a bit brighter on the p50 pro and also this is what i mean with with clarity and with, with more brightness for the subject it just looks more pleasant on the pro i uh, on the uh, p50 pro and the pro i it looks more yeah shadows hanging around there but if i zoom in what you can see of course i get closer a little bit on the p50 pro but it looks more painted on the p50 pro more processed on the p50 pro for some reason and here the pro i i think has a slight edge because even if i zoom in a little bit let's take a look it is still a bit more yeah uh, it looks also a little bit painted here and there because i zoom in so much but a little bit more realistic so we don't have this like over sharpening going on it's a bit softer here and there which is like interesting because these are like uh, what is it lego like figurines and uh, here of course they are the, the over sharpening you can see it a bit more then because 
this is what uh, I think it detected on both that there's a face and was like uh, focusing on the face and yeah this is what you can get uh, we can get a lot closer with the p50 pro I think this is 10 times zoom and uh, this is I think also the maximum is it the maximum already no it gets a little bit more this is also roughly uh, the next I think f uh, 70 millimeters zoom here on the pro i probably comparable to this one yes so roughly the same kind of uh, photo and you can see that this is digitally zoomed in on the pro i already and this is optically and we still have i think it looks a bit better on the pro i because we don't have this over sharpening going on we don't have this aliasing going on but you can tell me what you think I like the exposure better definitely on the Pro P50 Pro and if I just look at it in, in this mode I just would tell you the P50 Pro is better because of better exposure shadows are not so much there but when I zoom in you can see of course wow this is like almost optical zoom and this is the 10 times uh, zoom and this is like uh, yeah no, there's no difference in there uh, definitely even if I zoom in a bit oh this is uh, maximum zoom already that I did here on the Xperia Pro I you can see it is not good in comparison to P50 Pro that is like super super good and it's not the maximum zoom of the P50 Pro because I can do even this which is a little bit of shaky because it was in the dark maybe but it's still so much detail there and I can even zoom more 100 times zoom so this is like 30 times zoom and this is 100 times zoom to the eyes of this uh, Esmeralda, yeah, from 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 Aladdin. I think I don't know how she's called. Um, uh, this lady here, you can see, so cool. So zoom. There's definitely no no comparisons. The zoom, the P50 Pro wins hands down. You cannot win against the P50 Pro. There, it is just miles ahead. When it comes to other photos outside, again we have more bluish colors on the p50 pro and a bit more warmish color on the xperia pro i this is now with uh, dust uh, a mist going on uh, and you can see yeah the pro i definitely has the more realistic colors here because this is what i saw with my own eyes as well the p50 pro makes everything a little bit bluish and uh, we have a little bit more clarity i think no there's not much of a difference in terms of clarity you see this is almost the same this really if i zoom in down here to this fence it is the same i can like zoom in a little more here on the p50 pro in terms of details is not nothing much uh, of a difference for some reason uh, this is the wide angle here I think on the P50 Pro and this is the normal uh, lens so you can see even if I compare those there's not much of a difference and when I compare them side by side the ultra wide angles you can see how much wider the P50 Pro is but you can see now on this graffiti as well how much uh, color boosting is going on on the P50 Pro when you compare it to the Xperia Pro i Xperia Pro i definitely has the more realistic colors because it doesn't boost everything so up and here it definitely boosted all the colors up and you get everything nice and sharp you can read everything even to the edges you get a bit softer as you can see here but it's nice and sharp on the pro i nice and sharp as well but you can see a bit more realistic colors muted colors because of course this graffiti was not done yesterday like it looks like on the p50 pro so it's a bit more muted and then of course the colors of the day which is like gloomier day rainier day i can see it's getting also a bit softer maybe a little bit more soft than the p50 pro when it comes to the edge because here i think it has like slightly bit of more sharpness on the edge the p50 pro than xperia pro i which is like very interesting but very very close when it comes to this and uh, yeah which one looks better definitely i would say the p50 pro because of the punchy colors it's punching everything up on the p50 uh, pro and on the pro i it looks a little bit of dull and not so spectacular as on the p50 pro but it is more realistic so it depends on what you want to achieve with your camera and then the next shot is a zoom shot uh, here again on this uh, little I don't know what it is well uh, 
people uh, kids probably painted something on it and we have the three and a half times optical zoom on the p50 pro and the two times zoom on the xperia pro i again to show you just simply uh, it's a bit unsharp because it had shaky hands and a bit more sharp maybe on the pro i let's zoom in a little bit yeah i can both can uh, but definitely the sharpness on the p50 pro and when i zoom in then all the way you can see the difference as well here and the details on the p50 pro even though it's like a bit overblown and it has its problem because it's not completely optical zoom but the pro i is like having no chance at all and yeah this is the last photo of the pro i the last photo in a brightness and as you can see here yeah zoom king is definitely the p50 pro even though it doesn't have a dedicated 10 times zoom the uh, optical zoom is so good that it can really almost act or as a 10 times optical zoom and the pro i in terms of zoom it just clearly loses so main differences is we have a little bit more processing on the p50 pro but sharpness details and clearness and clearness is on both sensors main sensors the same on the ultra wide angle you get the more ultra wide angle on the p50 pro which sometimes is more dramatic you get the more dramatic colors on the p50 pro and you get more realistic colors on the xperia pro i but they are neck to neck and i really i had uh, came into this conclusion or into this comparison with the conclusion that the p50 pro might be a little bit better than the xperia pro i but in the end of the day i have to say the main sensors in terms of clarity and, and uh, sharpness are the same there's not much of a difference it's just like preference what you like what, what do you like more like you a little do you like a little more processing in the images so you get like brighter images more powerful colorful images or like more realistic colors more um also dull colors sometimes because if the data is dull then it, yeah it looks dull um so it's not a comparison between to those two senses because it's just like your taste um, they are acting on par when it comes to flexibility the p50 pro wins because you have the longer zoom range and you don't have this on the xperia pro i do we have to make a low light comparison between the pro p50 pro and the xperia pro i uh, it's clear from the start that the p50 pro is better isn't it uh, let's uh, take a look for yourself uh, the pro i on the right and the p50 pro on the left do you see much of a difference here i'm honestly surprised that in this almost yeah completely dark conditions we have a very similar photo we can achieve here uh, even though sony is not known for being super good in uh, ultra low light but you can see it looks natural it looks nice and if i zoom in on the p50 pro yeah it looks a bit more processed a little bit more sharpened up a little bit more but brighter eventually uh, both readable most of the time you can see like a bit of artifacting going on here there's a bit of more yellowish kind of tone on the p50 pro a bit more whitish on the xperia pro i so the pro i has a more realistic colors uh, what's wrong here cannot be can it no the p50 pro is striking back in this photo with a brighter exposure so here we have bright exposure super sharpness super readability pro i mm, not bad we have a bit of grain already going on noise as well grain i wouldn't call it noise a bit uh, you can see here but it's also nice and sharp and a bit darker exposed but not bad at all i have to say not bad at all more clarity maybe on the p50 pro but also because it's a bit brighter uh, let's take a look at here for example yeah there's more clarity definitely on the p50 pro but the xperia pro i definitely has the larger sensor so here it's getting a bit unsharp definitely the, fo the focus point was here so this might be the explanation for this so i'm surprised that this was working so nicely and this here also looks very very similar um, the xperia pro i however has uh, you can see not so much background blur as the p50 pro and the p50 pro has everything nice and sharp and the xperia pro i also almost everything nice and sharp you can see there's a bit more clarity a bit more sharpness on the p50 pro than on the xperia pro i but if i go down it is here the focus point that i hit with the xperia pro i here it's also nice and sharp so there's some sharpening going on definitely on the p50 pro but you can see yeah the p50 pro is a tiny tad sharper than the pro i but the pro i has an ace up its sleeve it can 
also go to F4 if I want to or I can go into menu mode and say okay I want to have like a little bit of uh, more grain but more sharpness as well I do I put the shutter speed up not use the auto mode which had the shutter speed I think set a little bit too low and if I compare it now you can see yeah it's a lot sharper throughout the edges and uh, it's a bit darker there it has a little bit more grain a bit noise but yeah it can definitely compete and I can be so fancy that I say okay f4 I can also do this and you can see then yeah it is nice and sharp so there is things that you can do with the Xperia Pro i also in this close-up shots so where you can reach the level of the p50 pro in low light conditions uh, but you have to do it in a, a bit of a manual way because the auto way is not working so good p50 pro here brighter exposure more clarity you can see more details as well uh, directly without zooming in when i zoom in on the pro i we can see oh it's nice clear and sharp and on the p50 pro also nice clear and sharp but the clarity i would say here the reflection of the car and the clarity of the license plate i think the xperia pro i has a slight edge to it but you cannot see anything in the background it's black and here on the p50 pro you can see oh there's something in the background what could it be some kind of park there's some trees going on that you cannot see on the pro i simply because it's just exposing a little bit darker and yeah the p50 pro i wouldn't say it makes like uh, from nighttime daytime but it's definitely showing you a little bit more and then you have also a little bit more shown here in the in the uh, yeah in the rooms as well don't want to spy anywhere but you can see it's a bit overexposing those those highlights on the pro i and it's uh, turning them down tuning them down on the p50 pro which is something that you definitely see also in other photos here totally super processed on the p50 pro but also more pleasant i would say for nighttime photo what you expect from a smartphone nighttime photo on the pro i it's looking a bit dull and if i zoom in you can see hey i didn't nail the focus at all and it's a bit unsharp or did i maybe shake a little bit too much and the stitching didn't work for the night mode no it is sharp when i go here in the front so probably i didn't nail the focus um yeah here it's also a little bit looking like painted sometimes and also a bit unsharp there here and there but it looks a little bit better on the p50 pro as ultra wide angle this is the ultra wide angle by the way i did i mention that and this is the zoom lens and uh, both do a good job on first glance i would say three and a half times optical zoom is doing yeah okay job uh, some details are getting smudged away noise reduction and you have a bit more details so it's just like surprising on xperia pro i that the zoom lens in night mode seems to perform a little better you can see here the details are washed away on the p50 pro and here even though it's a bit noisier and not as crispy sharp as you want them to be in daylight the xperia pro i's zoom lens gives you more details here even if i well let's let's go to the pasta sign and let's let's zoom in digitally you can see yeah there we go you can see there's a bit more detail here even though it's not perfect but the xperia pro i performs better on the zoom lens when it comes to uh, detail levels but of course uh, yeah it can strike back the p50 pro when you uh, go uh, to another level so this was three times three and a half times zoom uh, very comparable and now i go out to a two times zoom which is like a digital crop on the main sensor and here it strikes back and i would say that then uh, because of a bit of brighter picture there's of course a bit more processing going on on the p50 pro but because it's a little bit brighter it just looks a little bit better on the p50 pro so yeah it depends on the taste so next photo uh sorry there we go next photo uh in this region here and yeah cars passing by night mode kicking in you can see yeah we have this uh, nice little blurry cars uh, going on but the rest uh, is sharp the background is sharp let's take a look at here and you can see i think there is a bit more clarity going on on the p50 pro a bit more a bit more yellowish or greenish as well overexposing lights as well 
there's not much of a big difference here it's just the exposure is a bit raised up on the p50 pro and i think here at the edges we have a bit of noise going on it's a bit of dark here on the xperia pro i and i think the xperia pro i yeah has it here you can see my one of my fingers as well in an ultra wide angle the xperia pro i is good but not as good as the p50 pro with all its processing power here and uh, then the next photo with the main lens this time where we can see the over exposing on the xperia pro i when it comes to those kinds of situations um, of course you can tune it down you can do spot metering you can do some other things and tricks uh, to do this on the xperia pro i but i was like walking on the street here and just take a snapshot and here the p50 pro just did a perfect exposure on this shop and the interior is visible and the Xperia Pro I averaged out the shot and you can still read the sign here which is nicely done and uh, also detail level I think maybe it's a bit brighter here you can see a bit more stuff on the Pro I but inside of the shop you, it's overblown and uh, this you can of course uh, do some manual stuff to 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 match this but you have to do it manually really on the p50 pro it just automatically detected this so uh, yeah the p50 pro is low light king also in automatic modes and so on and here i try to manually compensate to get like this sign the barbecue sign mm, better visible and i think i did a good job because here on this uh, zoom shot again the three and a half times zoom looks so much processed you can see if i zoom in here and uh, the xperia pro i definitely more noisy but so much less processed and uh, so much more natural and uh, yeah you can perform you can do good shots in the night with xperia pro i if you don't have fear of noise going on especially when it comes to the zoom lens i uh, think there we can say that xperia pro i if you manually tweak it can produce sharper results but the more eye pleasing results especially if you watch it on a on a, on a video uh, on a video on a smartphone the, the, then the p50 pro has more eye pleasing results but yeah that is basically everything so night mode um, I was surprised that Xperia Pro I can keep up with the P50 Pro in terms of night mode photography. Not always, I have to say. So what I did not show you here right now, but what I can tell you definitely is, as soon as you have subjects, uh, so, yeah, subjects like 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 uh, people in the shot, the P50 Pro nails it a bit better. And the Xperia Pro I, you have to go into manual mode and set the shutter speed higher, otherwise it will ruin your shot because in automatic mode or even in p mode it just uh, sets a too low shutter speed and then you have a blurry face which is like um, the xperia pro i should compensate for this with with uh, new algorithms but it's not always nailing this and it makes more sense than to go to the manual mode and sh set a shutter set a higher shutter speed to get the faces uh, nice and clear so one 60s 150s maybe you can go down if the people are not moving so much otherwise stay at one uh, over 100 of a second and have then a higher iso with a bit more of noise going on where you have to manually do maybe some noise reduction but uh, in general there we are pretty much on par but the p50 pro has the edge here in terms of night mode over the xperia pro i and this is what i was expecting but i wasn't expecting it to be so close together so the xperia pro i did a lot better than i was expecting so now you have to choose which one of those two camera phones is the winner i have my preferences i really like the white one here but i really like the aesthetics and the, the way you can tweak stuff on the black one here which is also very handy especially taking photos the process of taking photos if you want to feel it then you get definitely more on the black one here but which one would you choose which one is the clear winner write it down in the comment section and this is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye